Well, hello and welcome to today's video. I want to talk about today about taking ownership back of your phone and your phone's lock screen from an advertising company. We all know who that advertising company might be. They're hosting the uh, channel that you're watching right now. So in about March this year, given that it's 2022, uh, my phone started um, doing some really annoying things and we're now in September and I've had a gut full of this and I'm taking back ownership of my phone and I thought I'd make this video to show everyone else how to take ownership of your phone back. Just, just a little, not complete ownership, but you know, just enough to uh, take the irritant out of your day. So the irritant I'm talking about is your lock screen on your Android mobile phone. In about March 22 this year, Google rolled out a new um, feature on the Android platform where every time you go to open your phone up, your phone displays an ad. If your phone then goes into lock, and then we go and open it up again, yeah, it just keeps changing. The lock screen keeps showing you advertisements after advertisements. It shows you a few things about um, uh, traveling and stuff like that and different locations in the world that you might like to go and visit or inquire about. But, you know, it's my phone. I want my phone to be the way I like it. I don't want an advertising company telling me and showing me what I'm going to see every time I turn it on. So, this just suddenly started happening on my phone. I didn't ask for this. It just suddenly appeared one day. See, now yeah, we've got an ad there for, uh, what have we got? Oh, Macca's is selling 50 cent cheeseburgers tomorrow. Look at that. So, I'm walking around visiting customers, fixing their printers all day long. Every time I pull my phone out, I'm hit up with an advertisement. It's just gotten to the stage where you just can't get away from advertising. It's like Google is the new government. It's behaving like a government and it thinks it can control the population and it'll tell the population what it needs. So today I recently worked out how to turn this off. Um, so uh, yeah, if you want to gain back ownership of your phone, let's just uh, get into it. So when you, this is only in the lock screen. Once you unlock the phone, so I'll unlock it with my fingerprint. So this is how my phone is normally. Um, so the first thing you got to do is go into settings. So we'll go into settings. Let's see if we can make that a bit easier for everyone to see. Uh, then we need to go down to if we can bring that in. So we want to go into the lock screen. So the settings are raise to wake, double tap to wake or turn off. Yep. Now this advertising thing is called the wallpaper carousel. So we will go into wallpaper carousel. And one of the more important things that I want to point out is that it updates these advertisements using your mobile phone data. So 
if you're in a country where data costs a lot of money um, and you've got this feature turned on, you're paying to see these advertisements right there. So what we have to do is we have to turn off the wallpaper carousel. You will then be presented with this screen below. Before you go, would you like to add your own photos to the wallpaper carousel? No, I, I, I want my, my wallpaper to be my wallpaper. I don't want it to change. So we will say no, thank you. It's your order of choice what you want to do there. If you want to do that, that's fine. <sighs> it takes you back to the main screen. An exciting way to unlock your phone. Yes, let's see advertisements. <laughs> so, so, we need to go into another setting and we need to, even though we have turned it off, you have actually still given somewhere on the settings um, you have accepted terms and conditions and even though you have turned the wallpaper carousel off those terms and conditions are still turned on and still apply so what you mainly really want to do is deny Google the access to this feature and we do that by going into terms of use so the third party user agreement we go into there the the product this this wallpaper advertising product is provided by a company called tabula dot com limited I think it's another company, another subsidiary that um, Meta, otherwise known as Facebook and Google, um, own. Yeah, so you just have separate companies going back to the main entity that gets you around all of this legal. So third party content, so you're agreeing to the third party content. You've got to um, remove this third party uh, access for it. And the legal stuff just goes on and on and on. So we will go into, I think it's terms of use. Uh, no, we don't want that. So you want to go into the privacy policy and we have here third party content and ads. We need to deny them the access to do that. So even if you turn this off, you've still given them access. You've signed a legal agreement by ticking. So down here is an option and the option is called withdrawal of consent. So we click on that. Of course, they give you this timer. It sits here. counting down, making you wait, then you can withdraw your consent. And that should be it. So we will just go back and check the settings. We will go back to the lock screen. More advertising. Look at this. <laughs> so we'll go back to the wallpaper. I don't agree. And that should be it. Your phone should have its own lock screen back again. And there we are. My phone is back exactly the way I want it. I don't want to be annoyed with advertisements when I'm trying to go around doing my work, fixing broken printers. And everything's back to normal. So that's it for today's video. I hope this helps you remove advertisements from your life a little bit. Um, if you've got a broken printer in the Brisbane or Gold Coast area and you would like to have your printer serviced by me, give me a call. I'm at fixitfastelectronics.com.
Thanks for watching.